All right, so we're leaving Halifax today. Leaving Halifax, packing up the car right now. And uh, uh, it's a little later than I was hoping to get away. It's around 10 o'clock, but we are on our way to Digby, which is about two and a half to three hours, depending on traffic. Uh, it'll probably take us a little longer because we'll want to stop at some places, possibly. Anyways, off we go. Digby. We are here at Grand Pre, Grand Pre, Grand Pre. Do I say that right? Grand Pre. Yeah. It's Grand Pre. French, but like yeah. So it's not the Grand Pre because there'd be way more it's cars. What? So you say it. Grand Pre. Wow. Fancy. Oh. <laughs> Sounds way classier when you say it. Right. Yes. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna talk to Mary for a second because Mary was reading up about what this place is. So what is it? It's where they kicked out all the Acadians or something. Oh. Um, when Britain was conquering, um, New France, New here, French, um, they gathered up all the Acadians and were like, bye bye. And then they were like, no thanks. So there you go. There's your history lesson for today, I guess. So we're gonna go. Just take a quick look and see what's here. Why not? It's on the way. Okay, so we decided to not actually go into the building. Well, we went in the building, but at like eight dollars a person to see nothing that we really care to see that much seemed like a lot of money to spend, especially when we want to get to Digby. But we are going to see if we can go around the roads here because I think there's a beach, so we may go see if we can get to the beach. And if you see beach footage after this, that means we made it. If you don't see beach footage, then we didn't. Just that simple, really. All right, back to the car and continue on our route. All right, so we found the beach. This is Evangeline, 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 Evangeline Beach. And that's behind me right now. So we're gonna go take a walk. It looks like the tide is out. But it looks really mucky, so we probably won't go walk too much actually on the beach, but at least we'll see it. So let's go do that.
Okay, so quick stop for lunch. We're in Annapolis Royal. You can see by the front of this here van. Annapolis Royal. And we're going, just stopping for lunch here. So this is a cool little town. So if you get the chance and you're heading to like Digby or anything, it seems like a nice little area. Across from the cemetery, which is awesome. But cool little place to stop if you're interested. We're going for lunch. Okay, so we've decided against the first place and we're continuing our hunt. Still here in Annapolis Royal. There's Fort Anne. Fort Anne over there. We're gonna go look at that after, I think. Possibly. All right, we're gonna find somewhere to eat and find a bathroom, maybe. Okay, so that is, what is it, Fort Ann, Fort Ann back there. You can just see it, Fort Ann. And I'm shooting on my phone because my battery died. So I need to go change batteries. So I'm gonna do that right now. But we're heading, next stop I think is Digby. Should be last stop, we had ice cream and lunch here. So it's good. Oh, lots of ice cream, so good. Okay, so we're out at Trout Cove. It's a little fishing area, which is pretty cool. Excuse me. But I think I'm going to put the drone up because there's nobody here. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere. I think it's just, it's just super cool. Mary's hanging out back there a bit. But I'm gonna go back and get the drone and uh, see if we can get some footage here because it's like a little fishing area, which is super cool. All right, a little bit of a walk back though. Okay guys, make sure that's on me, focus. We are in Digby now, Digby. <clears throat> Home of the world famous scallops, scallops. I don't know how you say it. So we are gonna find a restaurant. Here, look at all the water. We're gonna find a restaurant and uh, go have some scallops before we head to our uh, resting place for the night. All right, let's go there. Okay, so we tried restaurant number one, which was the, I can't remember. Crow's Nest? Crow's Nest, that's right. And it was like 45 minutes to an hour wait. So we're trying some place called the Shoreline. I think so. Shoreline, I think. See what their wait's like. Hopefully we can get in sooner. Fingers crossed.
Okay, so we just finished dinner, finished dinner, and we went to Shoreline, I think it was, and I had probably the best fish and chips that I've had in Nova Scotia so far. Super good, lots of food, crazy amount of fries. So you should go there. Okay, Mary had, where's Mary? Mary had, um, there she is, bacon wrap scallops. Scallops. Scallops, whatever, however you say it. And good? Oh, so good. So good. So we're going to our Airbnb now. So it's about 40-ish minutes away. And uh, that should be it. These guys are waiting for us. Look at that, how nice they are. Waiting for people at the crosswalk. Nova Scotians. So nice. Okay, on a side note, this house here that I just showed you, 169,000. What the heck, this house is massive. And this is the view. This is the view, look at that. 169,000. Wow, so cheap, so cheap. Okay, so we're at our Airbnb, and they've got chickens, and I guess rooster, a rooster, maybe, or two, I don't know, and quails, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna go down, check out the beach after we pack, and I might get the drone out again, why not? 